Hi, it is me, the Multiplayer. Today is October 15, 2017, and this video is about everything I made for the Alien franchise, Colonial Military, and this is close play with accessories or props. This is a What If the Punisher crossroads to the Aliens franchise. So, remember this little guy? This is the first prop I made from that series. The Pulse Rifle. If you need, I'll give you the link up to the video on the screen below. Next, I've made a really badass gun. This is the M56 smart gun along with the hydraulics, whatever my finger is right now. And then move it on to the flamethrower and the motion detector. Now I made these things almost with every single detail. Each of them took about between two to six to seven and a half hours of work. I'm gonna sit down and do a little view on each prop. You see here that the emotion detector, I'm gonna start with this one, was a bit of a challenge because of detailings and the dimensions along with it. I right, was doing my best of actually making these things to the letter for almost every single detail. They don't have any spray paint. The matches color that matches with the pictures from references for each prop. So Okay, we're done with the motion detector. It's got a little stuff in there, which is no big deal. Move it on to the flame floor. Now the motion detector is made out of ED foam, which is my finger thumb is right there. And four layers of foam board. So some other materials, bottle and more foam board, cardboard, some wiring, some paint. Same deal with this one, but let's hold it together as a base. Is a quarter inch dowel, not dowel, but PVC piping. I use that as a base to make the details. The bottom part here, my hand is right there is a sprayed up water bottle I have glued and super glued the lid to the flame floor and then I spray paint everything black and yeah it was all good hold it with hot glue everything he's holding the tape and hot glue by the way and spray painting black for detailing and effect give you a little close up on The smart gun, the M fifty six smart gun. You see here the hydrox. No, the hydrox is made out of four small bottles of vodka water, drained of its water, which I drank chugly, <laughs> and then some tape. Spray paint, hot glue, screws, and gorilla and duct tape. With some hot glue. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. There's, there's no problem to, get, to make, but at first, I was thinking but how difficult it was to make a smart gun. Well, it's not that hard. It's really easy if you know what you're doing. You use a lot of pictures for references and... You know you download that of videos to know what you're doing, so pretty cool. And you already know about the pulse rifle. I'm going to here's the body armor. It's all made of cardboard, paint, hot glue, and staples and tape and all that good stuff. This is real chain. And the dog tag made out of plastic, 
of the container that holds my screws together. And it's a marker. I use a punch a hole a hole puncher for the company to actually get through the necklace itself and then I'm showing you yeah I spray painted with the tensils I made for the Punisher. Yeah, this is the headpiece. I finally got a three pack of headbands, cost about five dollars at Win Dixie. At the Border Flex here, not the Border Flex here, but the Lake Picket store. This is from the same container of the screws I have. Hot glue tape, cable tags. Oh no, it's pretty good. And here's the front. Now the back I'm not too worried about, but the front is mostly important because of detailing and how badass it looks for the costume here. I know I added some black on detailing with the marker. And it's not very good, but what can you do when you're on a very tight budget when it comes to cosplaying? You have to make things yourself and stuff. Having other people cause you even more. Yeah, so it's all good and all said and done. It took me about a full month start to finish on every single thing you see in this video here. The smart gun, the hydraulics, the flame floor, the motion detector, the body armor, the dog tags, and the headpiece. All one month or less or something like that. So start to finish. It was pretty cool. But yeah. So this is it. The third installment of the Crossroads cosplays I have. First, it was Zoom. What if he was turned to a Black Lantern? Secondary was the what if Borg assimilated the Predator, and this is what if the per Punisher became a mil colonial military soldier and started blowing away the Xenomorphs or the alien creatures. Okay, this about the end of this video. Um, the much player do sub sub. Go and shout Sean Paul quest only. I do three videos of various Friday and Sunday. If you're a subscriber, you stay subscribed. If you're not, you hit the button. Find me on Facebook, Patreon, you know, and Google. Um, I do subs up to shout Sean Punk Quest only. Don't forget to subscribe to four amazing YouTubers Avatar Prince, Kit Nerf, Dominic W, and Chris Cabral. Both think up the screen below. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe on my videos, play this as you wish. So we get the ball rolling, as it were. And this is my full on Punisher Colonial Military Soldier cosplay, along with his accessories. Later.